I am a sower of seeds. I plant the seeds of democracy. I fertilize those seeds and help them to grow. I'm an educator. I am a civic activist. I work in my community to enact change. My name is Meg Hubeck and I am an American. If you had asked me to describe last, last year, it would have been a lot easier. This year has been quite tumultuous, unpredictable, exciting, and depressing. So it's been a roller coaster. Here in Charlottesville, personally, it's been very hard. It's been very hard to have to deal with blatant racism in our faces and to have to reconfront history and have the hard discussions. But I think one of the things that has to come out of this is that we, we as a nation have got to have tough discussions about race. We have to have tough discussions about gender, the economic gap between the haves and the have-nots. I mean, we are not discussing it. We are pushing it under the rug. That's what we've been doing all year. I think this whole year, politicians, the political system has been kicking cans up the road. We're not gonna deal with this now, we're gonna deal with it later. Well, I think the buck stops here in that this is the perfect opportunity. Charlottesville is the perfect place to have a tough discussion. We're sitting here at Monticello. Slaves work this land. Their families still live in this area. Let's bring, bring them into the discussion so that when we're talking about what happens here, what happened here when Jefferson lived here and what happens here now, it's not really that different. I'm part of a group in Waynesboro that meets regularly to talk about a vision for our city. And then we're gonna work with our youth and with citizens to make Waynesboro what we want it to be. And I think that's the seed that got planted last year. And I think it doesn't immediately sprout up. You have to work on it. You have to water it. You have to give it sun, a little fertilizer. This year has been one of planting seeds. And I think people are starting to wake up to the fact that what Benjamin Franklin said was true. We have wrought a democracy. If you can keep it, right? If you can keep it. And Jefferson would be proud to hear that we're not giving up, that we're continuing on. Democracy is not an overnight thing. It takes a lot of time. We have neglected ours for quite a bit of time, and now we're gonna have to wait for our work to show its results, but I think it's coming. And we have to continue discoursing, debating, and compromising in order to fertilize those seeds. Otherwise, we're not gonna have anything. My name is Meg Hubeck, and I am an American. Thank you.